Good morning all. Please join with me in saying the unison prayer for illumination that is printed in the supplementary worship material. Let us pray. Gracious God, as we prepare to read and hear your holy word, we pray. By your grace, move us to respond to your gifts so we may live lives of gratitude and thanksgiving. Amen. Over the last four weeks, we have been listening to how we are not to just go to church, but we are to be the church. Last week on World Communion Sunday, we heard that the church was a family of faith that gathered to worship God by sharing the common meal, communion that uni unites us. This week, as Thanksgiving Sunday, we gather to do what every church family should do, give thanks to God for the many blessings we receive, God provides for all our needs, and as people of faith, we return to God our faithfulness and gratitude by living fruitfully. As we prepare to listen to God's word, let us be attentive, for God is speaking. Today's first reading is from the Gospel of John, reading chapters 15, verses 1 through 8, which can be found on the bulletin PDF. The first reading, John 15. 1 through 8. I am the true vine, and my Father is the vine grower. He moves every branch in me that bears no fruit. Every branch that bears fruit, he prunes to make it bear more fruit. You have already been cleansed by the word that I have spoken to you. Abide in me as I abide in you. Just as the branch cannot bear fruit by itself unless it abides in the vine, neither can you unless you abide in me. I am the vine, you are the branches. Those who abide in me and I in them bear much fruit, because apart from me you can do nothing. Whoever does not abide in me is thrown away like a branch and withers. Such branches are gathered, thrown into fire, and burned. If you abide in me and my words abide in you, ask for whatever you wish and it will be done for you. My Father is glorified by this that you bear much fruit and become my disciples. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Amen. 